The Depression was a difficult time for artists, and Mackenzie was one of the few patrons who continued to collect during the 1930s. Uh, we have a, a story that has come to us via the memoirs of Illingworth Kerr, young Saskatchewan artist uh, who was living in Lumsden at the time, in which he relates his encounter with Norman Mackenzie. He visited Mackenzie's office uh, one day, plucking up his courage, uh, and uh, asked the man who, had, uh, who was really the center of, of the art community in Regina if he would be interested in looking at his paintings. Mackenzie stared at him down his nose from his pince-nez glasses and, and said, well, I don't know about that. But uh, uh, once Kerr was able to get the topic off of art and onto duck hunting, he knew he was on solid ground with Mackenzie. And Mackenzie did pay him a visit out to his, his uh, somewhat ramshackle apartment above the pool hall in Lumsden. Uh, he uh, was a fast friend of Mackenzie after that, and Mackenzie felt free to ask a favor of him on occasion. Uh, we know that uh, he requested this particular painting of a tiger. Uh, we're not sure exactly why Mackenzie wanted a painting of a tiger, but it may relate to his experiences on his round the world tour when he visited India. And in fact, he had a tiger skin in his collection of objects. And so he asked Mac asked the young Kerr if uh, he would paint him this particular work. Kerr, against his better judgment, agreed. He was hard up for cash and uh, took the commission. Kenzie even provided him a couple of tickets to go to the circus and see a live tiger and gave him his skin uh, so that he would all have uh, something to work from in his studio. A few weeks, maybe a month passed and uh, Kerr received a phone call from Mackenzie asking whether that painting of his tiger was done. Uh, Kerr said, sure, you can pick it up tomorrow. He hadn't even begun the painting and stayed up all night dashing off this, which is certainly one of the least inspired paintings of tiger which I've ever seen.